three weird quirks about my american house yeah i'm curious to see what these interesting things are about his american house see how different they are to british homes before we do get into this i appreciate if you guys can add subscribe button let's just show you to see what we got i'm lawrence and i'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that britain and america lost in the pond and one of those memos houses to weird quirks okay weird specifically quirks. weird quirks that i found in my new american house okay and when i say new american house i mean my my new American house, not a house that's new. Okay, you see, right. something I didn't tell you, though perhaps you worked it out on your own, is that this house wasn't built yesterday. That's both <laughs> figurative and literal. In fact, Yo, already, bro, I'm seeing crazy difference here. These two right here, this is the 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 clothes washer and the clothes dryer, right? Bro, we don't pull it in from the top like this. This, this kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> A weird big box toilet. This entire building was built in 1942. Okay. And as such, many of the quirks that I found out about it are throwbacks to that particular time in the history of American housing. Interesting. In other words, the things that I'm going to show you in this very video are not the sorts of things you would expect to find on a house built in the 21st century. Aye, show now, me. it is possible that some of these things were replicated in England or they happened in England first and America replicated okay. them. Perhaps that's something that we can argue you out in the comments section so if you're not subscribed to this channel do that now his link will be in description without further ado let's go and take a look at some quirky bits and bobs i am ready it's locked again <laughs> when you've I'm got to go and i have a confession to make a couple of weeks ago okay, when basement. i showed you around my entire house there were in fact a couple of rooms that i never showed you and one of them is here in this door behind me and the reason that i didn't show you it at the time is because it was really quirky and i didn't have the emotional intelligence to explain it okay. i thought to myself why don't i save it for a video on quirky features of my house wait so there's a door in the basement behind this door i'm gonna enter it and take you in with well, me well he said he said the basement so this is even a doorway to the basement like down or it's just a random room in the basement I don't know. not literally all right come along all right, we are now in said room, and as you can see, it's an elevator. I'm kidding. Uh, oh. This is, in fact, a toilet or a little bathroom. Wait, why is this a quirk? Lawrence, what is weird about a toilet? Everything's weird about a toilet, but this one in particular is unusual uh? because it's just a toilet. There's no sink or place to wash your hands. Oh, you know what? This is uncommon in the UK, right? But for some weird reason, the location that I'm in, I've actually seen two houses that have this. And I even have one. So I have a room for the bathroom, the shower. It's got the bath, shower, sink. And i got a room just a toilet. Which is very, very weird for me. You know, it's not that common in the UK. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, just a room for the toilet. That is, that is quirky. And I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. So I looked it up. It turns out that this weird quirk was once not weird in the least. Up to the Second World War, American houses that had basements were often equipped with these lone toilets. Okay. But there's something so else. In the basement. They'd often be accompanied by showers that would be in this sort of wider basement area. Right. Interestingly enough, my... Yo, it's already a quirk seeing a basement, bro. There's no basements. I'm pretty certain there's no basements in the UK. I don't know absolutely anyone who has a basement in the UK, bro. Particular basement doesn't seem to have had one of those showers, but this basement does have something that those lone toilets were also often accompanied by, and that's the laundry room that I okay. showed you the other day. And finally, having used the toilet and expertly opened the door without touching the door handle, you then walk all the way over here to this very, very beautiful sink. And I've since learned oh, wow, that's a combination of things, a lone toilet. Bro, this sink, bro, this sink looks like it was during war. Bro, what's happened to this? <laughs> but yo, do you know what's crazy? I can't wrap my head around it, right? Why does America Homes have... Is the basement because of like your crazy weather? Has to be, right? Because your houses are a lot bigger than ours in the UK anyway, right? And you got extra room for a basement. Do you know what I mean? I feel like in the UK, we need basements just for extra room. Because, like, we are very slim homes, right? So a bit more room, like, in, in, in height... <laughs> In height would be so much better, dude. Like, it would just help. Combination of things, a More room. toilet, a shower, and a laundry room are especially common in old Ooh. 20th century basements in Pittsburgh. 
Why is that, Lawrence? Well, the story goes that this entire setup was used by steel workers. After oh. a long, gruelling day at work, they would come home, enter through perhaps a side door or a different entrance to the main house. Okay. They'd go downstairs, maybe use the toilet, pop their dirty work clothes into the laundry okay. machine, have a shower, Bob's your uncle, they're clean, and then they can go upstairs into the main part of the house without dirtying the rest of the... Oh, is that because they got, like, crazily dirty? That makes sense. The house. These days, things are quite a bit different. That lone toilet is a place that I can go for 40 minutes to think thoughts such as how will I feel when I get to a million subscribers or how nice. does the people's elbow hurt more than a regular elbow? You know what? If I had a toilet in the basement, I don't think I'd ever go to it, bro. I'd be too... You know what? I'm talking about like we should have basements, but I'd be scared to go to the basement. I ain't gonna lie. Unless you do it out really good and you have a lot of light in there. But I don't know. I've seen too many like horror stuff with basements, man. Oh, it's a no-go for me, dude. <laughs> Who's calling? Join me now in the hallway in front of yet another door. And you're probably thinking, what's behind that other door, Lawrence? Just the kitchen. You've seen it before. Okay. Because the quirky feature in question isn't that or this beautiful What banister. is it then? It is, in fact, this. And What's you're that? probably thinking, what? That's t it's just a hole in the wall with a little shelf on it. And at first, this uh? is what I thought. It would make a nice place to store a vase or an empty coffee cup temporarily. But wait, wait, wait. Normally, you just have the shelf. You wouldn't have a hole in a wall. Why is there a hole in a wall? The more that I've been digging into features of old American houses, the more I've come to discover that cubby holes like this one, usually found in the hallway of old American homes opposite the staircase, had a very specific purpose and that purpose was a place to store your phone oh. <laughs> and remember this is the first half of the 20th century so okay i understand why that's handy back then right but yo i bro i don't know anyone with a home phone no more like a landline phone i actually don't know anyone with them Everyone just uses their mobiles. Uh, I suppose you could put your mobile on there. I don't know, cup holder. We're not talking about phones like this, but initially those big old landline phones. Right. And these were once so common in American houses that they even had a name. Yeah, they're it's not common no more. referred to as a phone niche or niche, as some Americans might say. And homeowners would have to just come to this very specific part of the house to receive or make a phone call. Okay. However, in post-World War II America, new houses didn't really feature this anymore. Anymore. And in the day and age of smartphone technology, I've no need for a landline. This yeah, to be fair, does any anybody watching this, do you still have a landline? I don't know anyone with a landline no more. I genuinely don't. This is particularly great news for my cat, though, who seems to have claimed the spot as his own. I can see myself <laughs> finding him here in the middle of the night, brutally gazing Bless into him. the distance like an intergalactic antagonist torn between feelings of affection for his father and the unrelenting desire to betray him. But it's chilling to think that millions Deep of thoughts. people, now long gone, perhaps never imagined a world in which this once common feature would become obsolete. Such True. as life, I dare say we're doing the same thing right now with laptop computers and Taco Bell. Yo, <laughs> this is what I'm saying, bro. Technology is like, bro, it is getting too good, too quick. Like, it's advancing really fast, man. Yo, 20 years, the world's going to be different again. Like, it really is. Oh, shoot. Finally, here I am outside in the tundra in my back garden. It's okay. currently about minus 12 degrees Celsius or 10 Fahrenheit. And the thing that I want to show you is partially buried under the snow. What? So give me a second. I'm just going to shovel it off. Wait, what could this be? Underneath this slab is what looks like a kind of drain lid, but it's not a drain lid. It is a lid that's covering a sealed off coal chute. That's ah. right, before World War II, many, if not most, American homes were heated using not natural gas, but coal. Believe it or not, coal delivery men would go door to door to replenish each house's stock. Sort of like what? when a milkman brings you milk or Capital One brings you free toilet paper. It would be delivered into a coal chute like the one out in my yard and often arriving down that chute into the basement where the homeowners would then shovel it into the furnace. Oh, that's bro. What a different time it was back then. I bet you anyone there's a lot of you guys watching this who had these and had to do that, bro. What a different time, man. And I've got to say, coal shoots are cool sh this one, like many of their kind, has since been sealed, but it okay. forever remains a reminder of two things, our coal-powered past 
and a painful accident I had on my way to the mudroom last Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye, that's it for this episode. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow oh, me. Oh, yeah, that's another thing with American homes as well. We just said mudroom. We don't have mudrooms in the UK. We don't have we don't have big enough houses to have extra rooms. You know what I'm saying? Bro, a mudroom, isn't that like a whole room in the house where like you take off your dirty shoes and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Your trainers, your dirty trainers, dirty shoes. Dirty clothes, put them in a mud room, and then you go into the house. Right, in the UK, you just have to go straight into the house. <laughs> but yo, really good video. Enjoy that. Always enjoy checking out the differences of our homes and stuff like that. And these quirks to the American house. Really cool to check out. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.